let's uh, start doing makeup without any mirror or any type of reflection. So today I'm going to be using, let me see it, I'm going to be using Huda Beauty and this one, or Huda Beauty, it's brown sugar. You can tell I've never done makeup tutorials before. And I'm going to be using her eyeshadow as well. And I'm going to not attempt to contour my face because, just because. And if you want to, me to do a proper one, please try, please comment in the video down below. Then for lipstick options, I have Fenty Beauty, but I already have. This is Fenty Glow. And I've got like a whole bag here full of, it's one of my favorite lipsticks. My only lipstick actually. It's uh, Shazam Nude, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, by the Bobbi Brown, the crushed version. And I've got a ton of, um, not a ton, like five or six, one, two, three, four, five Victoria's Secrets lip balms, a NARS. I had a NARS lipstick somewhere, I don't know where that went, but anyway, and I got makeup brushes, and I've got some concealer. So, let's get started. All right, let's get started. So, I think you start off with concealer or foundation. It's really hot up here, so I'm gonna try and get it as quickly as possible. But it is nice. Quick and nice. You can get out of two. Oh, there we go. Is something. I did wash my face before I started. I washed, moisturized, and all that stuff. Um, okay, so last year I decided to cut my hair myself, and you know, I thought it looked good, but I think I cut it way too short for my face shape. So, of course, like maybe the first two days it looked really good because I had it wet and you know your hair is always like nice and longer when it's wet. So, while it was wet, it looked great, but like maybe a week or so, maybe not a week, so like three or four days after it started to dry, it started to look boyish. Now, boyish hair looks great on some girls, but it won't, doesn't look great on mine because it's a round shape. Or maybe because my cheeks aren't as as I want them to be. But, yeah. It wasn't as what I thought it would be. Now, I'm interested to know how this turns out. And this will be a long one, so I'll try to put some time stamps in here somewhere. So yeah, I cut my hair, and I thought that I wouldn't cut my hair again, because when I went to the hairstylist, she had, you know, there's layers in there, there's bits are shorter than the other, bits are longer than the other. So, when I did, um, like two weeks ago, <laughs> my mom cut my hair, and it looked great, and you know, I thought, you know, quarantine hair, you can have access to a hair dresser right now. So... Of course, I decided to cut my hair because, you know, in my mind, oh, it's uneven, oh, it's not right, and boy, was I wrong because my hair is a heck of a lot more shorter than it was before. So now I'm going in with the Hotter Beauty Foundation. I probably put a picture of it somewhere. And I'm uh, trying my best to do this. without looking into a reflective surface, even my table. So yeah, I cut my hair 
during this time of quarantine. I don't think any of me snapped. I was watching, what was I watching? I was cutting my hair. Never watch anything while cutting your hair. I was watching Cold Night something, a movie with Bruce Willis and Henry Cavill, aka gorgeous and wonderful Superman. Now, if it looks good, um, I will use it for my next video. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below if you're any good at doing makeup. I, I wouldn't say I'm the best, like I'm not MUA or anything, but I'm, I mean, I'm okay. I mean, I can go into a job interview and look okay, but I wouldn't say that I'm the best. I'm, just, I'm gonna say like, I'm, I'm still learning. No, I don't know this will be enough. <laughs> so, just a little bit more and then I'm gonna stop with it. Now, you can probably see the difference between my neck and my face. Okay, almost done here, guys. Over this time of quarantine, I've watched a lot of Netflix. I've started redoing Avatar The Last Airbender, one of my fave, but one of the best shows that Nickelodeon has ever done. And if you guys know that they're doing a live action version of it soon for Netflix, like since quarantine everything's halted, but the sooner the better. I mean not the sooner the better, the more time it takes the better it will be. And like I kind of want to audition for it even if it's just an extra part. It would be awesome because you know it's my childhood. Uh, we won't even talk about the movie here but I just love the whole franchise and uh let me know in the comments down below, who is your favorite? Okay, I think I've uh, smoothed out my entire face and maybe scraped off some uh, skin cells while I'm at it. I'm in a hoodie and I'm in front of an open window, so it's really hot right now. Uh, I don't know if this is recording or not. I hope it is. Better be. I'm doing this in natural light because apparently natural light's the best. I think in my first couple of videos you see that I'm doing makeup. Uh, okay. And uh, my eyeshadow look pretty good. Okay. I think I've smoothed the other day. Other than skin. Oh, I look like oh, yeah, Avatar. So yeah, I've been catching up with that. I suppose next is your eyes. So I am using her textured rose palette. You can see this has been well used. Um, I'm going to start off with ooh, the ones that have been less used. So I'm going to be starting off with a little bit of Man Ear. Now, I should know what brush I should use, but I don't. So I'm going in with this brush. It is a smooth angle detail, 152. I just got these brushes from Amazon, and we're going in with a little bit of that. Right, I'm going to really close my eyes. My favorite character in Avatar would be female-wise, I love Toph. I mean, I would love to be Katara if I could, but I love Toph. Favorite guy, I mean, I like Aang when he was in Avatar State, and I like a little bit of her a thing when she got out. But I think I've always had a thing for Aang. But, 
not. I have no idea if I'm doing this right because number one, I cannot see myself. I can literally only see the top of my hair. I'm baking right now. Okay, so I've done with the man eater. Let's go with a little bit of. We're going with flamenco now. You know, I'll be really surprised if this comes out reasonably okay. And yeah. I can't see anything right now. A little baking right now, but. I can hear makeup guru screaming at me right now through the TV. So. So I'm pretty sure there's a heck of a lot more stuff that I need to do. So I've applied foundation, concealer, eyeshadow, and I'm pretty sure I need to do some blush. Now can you use eyeshadow as a blush? We're about to find out. Oh boy, I don't know what I'm doing. This is why you need to learn what you're doing. I mean, I'm pretty sure we do have blush somewhere. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have a big reveal in a few minutes. So, since we don't want too much in this, I think I'm gonna go for the lightest shade that I've got in the darker colors. So, the lightest shade I've got that looks like punchy no well we'll see um i know that's supposed to touch our faces right now but i'm going to let's go with punchy oh uh, never mind that's not open so we're going to go with cherry bomb okay Alright, um, alright ladies and gentlemen, let's see what we are working with, and let me know in the comments down below if I need a blush, or a makeup lesson. But for now, we're about to take off the piece of paper, and ta-da! Okay, I can't really, whoa. Okay, so right now, it looks like I've got one eye open and one eye closed. Um, so I look, brightness is amazing. Uh, I, um, it looks okay, surprisingly, without, you know, looking at myself for however long I've been doing this. Uh, let's see if I can just attempt to clean up some stuff. Now, I guess I would put on blush, not eyeshadow. But, yeah. Okay. Um, that's it for now, guys. Um, so thank you so much for watching me apply makeup without a mirror. Let me know if you like this video and you want to see more videos like it. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching and. Um, consider subscribing if you like what you see. If not, that's totally fine. Give it a thumbs up. Thanks guys. Bye.